Dragon's Crown on the PS3. Let me check on a few things. Well, wait, let me clear these guys out. I'm here inside the Ancient Water Temple. It was a randomly selected location from the gate. And apparently there's a mission here where I can investigate some something or rather. I've brought along some level 1 characters that I resurrected when I was uh, not recording. Uh, long story short, I chose um, a level 1 character, level 1 elf, to investigate some earlier levels that I went through earlier. Basically, I started from scratch. What I noticed is that you can bring other characters into that, into your level 1 characters story, which I think is pretty interesting. I'll explain that later. But basically while I was in while I was wandering around as a level one elf, I resurrected some level one dwarves who are with me right now. They will be fodder. But I was able to resurrect them and get two and count two bone piles towards my resurrection goal of thirty. I need thirty I need to resurrect 30, 30 piles of bones. So I got two level one characters from my level one elf character to do the resurrection. Level 1 characters are cheaper to resurrect. I think they're about 150, 160 gold. So that's one cheap way to complete that quest. But I'm going to try and bring back some higher level characters for now. But let me uh, explain this while I'm inside the ancient temple ruins. Here's where I am. Again, this place is randomly selected by the gate. This quest will probably require me to go towards an alternate path. Not the typical A path but the alternate B path. So we'll see how it goes. Well, forgot to look for loot. I might not stay here very long, because like I said, these level one characters, these level one dwarves probably won't last very long. They don't have very good defense. They don't have, they don't have very much armor, and their weapons aren't very strong. Whoops. So that means, uh, that means my uh, high level elf character, Nor O'Donnell, will need to pick up the slack here for these two dwarves. So I got uh, George Lucas, one of the dwarves, he's in blue, and uh, Fabius, the gold dwarf, and like I said, they're level one character, so they probably won't last very long. Wow, look at her go, dude. <laughs> Nor on point with those arrows, huh? Okay, here's the, where's the fairy? Okay, I think we freed the fairy. Okay, never mind. Actually, this is the first level you go to when you start the game. Yep, this is a uh, level one. So I was just using this. I was exploring this place earlier as a level one elf. Yes, uh, uh, I probably don't even need to do this. I need to memorize what these stupid spells are. A F E. I probably have to start skipping these in a while because I don't even know what I'm going to get out of them. F. Nah, probably worthless. Okay, I'll worry about that later. Again, as level one character, I cannot touch those runes because I don't have because I haven't freed and I haven't unlocked that part of the game yet with my level one character. But since I'm playing here as my level what eighteen Amazon, yeah, sure I can read these runes. So when I do my other video about my level one character, I'll show you what that's about because it's it's sort of a it's sort of a way to kind of start over from scratch with some high level allies. So that might be interesting. And I'll show you what I mean later. By the way, you take all your gold with you. So I had what, 52,000 gold? And I just took it with me as my, with my level one elf. So that level one elf had access to 50,000 gold. Because it, all the gold that I've accumulated as an Amazon is going to be shared by all characters I create. So if I want to create a level one magician, or a wizard, excuse me, that wizard will have access to 50,000 gold at the beginning of the game. Here he goes. Here comes the branching path. Uh, let's see. There's a harpy breeding ground. Terrified gorgons in the temple ruins. I think I was told to invest... I think this might be where the uh, quest can be completed. Let me check. Check requests. Draconic history. Let's get the room behind the wall painting. I guess... That, actually, let me uh, confirm that. Uh, check request. It's too bad the game doesn't pause. This is really annoying. Oh, wait. Scorpions. Go kill them. Uh, recently a piece of mine. Blah, blah, blah. So where's the wall painting? I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's on this path. If not, I'll try the other path later. Don't turn me into a skeleton. I don't know, what, I don't know who that is, by the way. 
Might be an elf, I'm not sure. Wow, got a lot of these bones lying around. Like I said, since I'm a level 18 character, the bones I pick up will level up with me. If I were playing as a level 1 elf, or a level 1 character, the bones I pick up would be all level 1 characters. At least, based on what I've seen so far. So, any, um, basically any bones I pick up as a level 18 character, I can bring with me if I were to play as a level 1 character. So if I decide to use my elf later on, uh, she will be able to fight alongside level 18 dwarves. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's actually pretty awesome. That's one thing I discovered by accident. So, yeah, any characters I resurrect, I discover here, I can uh, use them to uh, assist my low-level player characters. That sounds really interesting. So basically, I'll be a level 1 elf fighting alongside level 18 wizards and crap. And it really does make the boss fights, it really does make the boss fights a lot easier, so. See, look at all these bones I'm getting. Oh! Wait, wait! Yeah, okay, we got... Just a second. We got statues shooting stuff. Wait, wait! I'm on fire! I'm not on fire. Mission failed, sorry. That might be a dwarf. Or a fighter. Actually, I wonder where all the fighters went. You get that for me, Randy. Okay. You get all of your... You clean up your mess, uh, Archer. You got arrows all over the place. Let's see. Uh, o. Let's see. O. L. E. Yeo. Oh, OLS. Okay, so it doesn't matter what the order is. If I choose the letters OLS, it will rearrange those letters into a rune spell. Fantastic. So what do I get for this, by the way? Okay, so, now, so it doesn't matter what order I click on the letters. That is a great... I'm glad they, I'm glad they fixed that. Oh, there's a wall here, isn't there? Yeah, this is the wall behind the tablet, right? Crap. Just a second. Let's get the, that's not the wall painting, I don't think. It might be in another room. Did I get all the loot from here? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, this uh, this is a branching path that looks a lot like the uh, A route. We're on the B route, but it looks a lot like the A route. The backgrounds are exactly the same. Some of the enemies are a little bit different, though, as you saw. Those statues that were shooting at us were not on the A path. They're on the B. They're on this B path. Let's see. So I haven't figured out a quick way to look for whoops. Well, that was easy. Okay, guys, you probably won't survive. But that's okay. I'm not gonna. Res I'm not gonna resurrect you if you die. So don't die. Okay. Just saying. Let me. Don't you. Okay, we got a problem. I'm gonna need my up attack. Consider ducking into a what? Corner, I think he said. No subtitles on that word corner for some reason. Okay, get me out of here, get me out of here. Can I eat? Nope, I can't eat. Heal, 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 heal. Well, it's a good thing I have three different um, shortcut buttons. That means the cooldown period isn't going to be a factor. Because if I only had one... Because if I select one potion using the shortcut, there's a cooldown period before I can use that same shortcut button to drink another potion. So if I have three different potions, if I have three potions attached to three different shortcut buttons, and that means I can uh, use three potions back to back to back without waiting for the cooldown period. See, that's one. That's the triangle button, by the way. And I'm dead. Never mind. So I got a potion map to the triangle, circle, and square buttons. And I lost a life. Is that the corner where I can duck in the... Yeah, I can duck into here. But can I go back? Nope, I can't go back. Oh well, I need to fight the Medusa anyway. That's interesting. 
So I'm glad the narrator told me I could duck into a corner to run away, but can I go back and fight the Medusa, I guess is the question. Yeah, I'm not going to bring down my level 1 characters. So I'll save some money there, I guess. Remember, they're level 1 characters. And I'm already, again, I need to resurrect 30 bones to complete that side quest. So these level 1 characters have already been resurrected for 160 gold, so that's no big deal. What did I get? Statue head? Statue legs? Ugh. Can I throw them? Well, let's throw them, see what happens. Statue head. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Eat it. Well, forgot about that. So, any other, any other characters going to join us at some point? I can't go backwards. And now I can go backwards. Whoop! Ah, ah, ah. No, you don't. And she's dead. She was a level 10 character, I think. Wow. She's pretty strong, actually. Wow, I can, move, I can move pretty fast with this thing. Oh, there we go. Doofus. Dead body. There we go. So they're down. Uh, there we go. Wait, I didn't. I didn't grab it. Just a second. Let me put this down. Okay, so did I grab the dead bones? Whoops! Yeah, I grabbed the bones. We done now? Yep. Can't go backwards. Okay. You dead yet? Can I eat? No, I can't eat. Yeah, go get him, elf. What was that, by the way? Is that a bolt ring or something? Let me get that guy on the ground. There we go. Okay, no one dropped. I thought someone dropped food. Nope, that was just a dagger. And yes, I have more company. Okay. So I got someone to join me. So if maybe I can. Well, I sped up. Uh. Does someone give me something I can use to speed up? I got food now. Now I can eat it. Eat it! Uh, I think I'm out of loot. Okay, let's grab that. We gotta go back that way, huh? So I can't go back to the Medusa? Maybe, it, maybe it's a circle. Maybe it, lets me, maybe it lets me circle back around to the Medusa or something. Because I'm not sure if we'll get all this energy back or what. Yep, I can't go back the way I came. Not that I ever can. Well, if this were like an own sphere thing, where you can just kind of circle around, you know? <laughs> could go back to where you were. That sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yes, I've already played own sphere, so I'm not going to have that conversation again. Okay, kill them. Yes, kill them! Okay, go ahead and slide. Don't need the food, I don't think. Okay. okay, Storm, you can stop that now. Okay. D E S. How about D E A? No. Oh, wait. What's that? Try Elemental Blast. Too late. Complete another waste of time. Oh well. Uh oh. See, now it comes. Completely unnecessary now. Wait, is that my? That's mine. Yeah. Made me lose my axe. Bastard. I, was, I didn't. I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, I I'm wearing my weakest boots and my weakest uh, what you call it? My weakest bracelets, I think, because I because I can't sell those boots because they're worth zero dollars. I might as well just wear them and use them for cannon fodder. Because they're going to lose durability if I wear them. So, Since I can't sell them, I might as well use them uh, for extra defense. By the way, I wonder if I can switch. Let me try something. Grab that, Randy. Guess we can go down. That's a, yeah, we can go down there in a second. Well, there might be, okay. There might be mimics in there, so I'm kind of afraid. So I'm afraid of some of these treasure chests. Okay, before I pick that up. Wait, wait. Before I pick that up. More runes. S, 
E A. I don't think you can use the same rune letter twice in a single word. S S A. I'll try it anyway. Nope. S. Okay, I already did that. Okay, so I think we did everything. Okay, that's all of them. Okay, remember, it doesn't matter what order you cl you uh, use the letters. As long as they're all used in a single word, the game will automatically rearrange them. Okay, let me get this loot. Hope I can get the 30,000 so I can get an extra life. Ooh, more loot here than I thought. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so we're ready to roll out. So I wasn't going to be able to beat that Medusa. No one else is joining me, and that's unfortunate. Those guys are going to attack us, aren't they? Okay, let's get them, Elf. Ha! Ha! I love that. Uh, it's not music. I thought that was, a, that was boss music. No, not my hair. That definitely sounds like a sorceress. <laughs> this potion's useless now. I forget who says stuff like that. But yeah, the hair bit, you know, is definitely a sorceress. They kind of play her up like a bimbo, you know what I mean? Really shallow, Kardashian-like bimbo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Speaking of Kim Kardashian, um, I haven't figured out which quotes are for Amazon specifically. I think, uh, yeah, the axe beats everything. Yes, yeah, definitely an Amazon. Other than that. Look at me. Just using uh, dragon punches. <laughs> Along with uh, diving attacks. Okay, I think we're good. Any more loot? Uh, what'd you get? I guess you grab something else. Okay. F, X, E. Let me get it closer. F, X, S. Or F, X, A. Oh, we got something. So I switched the letters around. Hidden treasure. Whatever happened to Hidden Treasure Serial anyway? Because he has discontinued it. I've always been waiting for another reformulation of that. <laughs> See if we can get a a, re, a a reboot on serials. You know what I'm saying? Havesies, hidden treasures, bring them all back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, they're bringing back everything else in the '80s and '90s. Why not cereal? And you can add whole grain if you want. Uh-oh, here they are. Okay, she's lost some HP, so that's good. Okay, I won't be able to flee, huh? Yeah, I'll drop that dagger. Don't need it. That's fine. We have higher-level characters now. We got Guinevere with us. Whoops. Too bad I have my potions. And someone's dead. Okay, I'm losing. We aren't gonna last. We're gonna need some money to get out of this fight. Whoops. I need to stay away from those. Okay, ow, 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 ow! Evade, evade! Yes, forgot about my evade button. Okay, uh, up. Heal. I'm out of squ I'm out of triangles. Okay, so I can't use the same potion twice in a row. Doesn't matter what buttons they're mapped to. Okay. So there's a cooldown for all heal potions, no matter what. Well, that's disappointing. Eat. Eat. I can't do anything from a distance here. Unless you can attack us from a distance, so that sucks. Okay. Like that! Worst possible timing. Yeah, do that. Magic. Okay, wait for those eyes. Then bail. Uh-oh. We didn't win. Oh, okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Yay. Well, we got turned to stone like three or four times during this fight, by the way. Well, I can continue the adventure. Yeah, I think I'm exhausted. <laughs> let's bail. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. So it lets me continue or return to town. I'll go. Actually, let me continue and then I'll return to town. Actually, let me return to town and take my bonus. Will I get my bonus? Yes, I get my bonus. 
So if I continued and then quit my adventure, I wouldn't have gotten that bonus, which isn't much. It's just an extra 260 experience points. Well, I guess, see, that's interesting. So the game's actually giving me some choices, which I don't mind. Kind of wish it would have done more of that early in the game instead of making me play for seven or eight hours before unlocking that crap. Anyway, uh, well, we're gonna run out. Okay, we're gonna run the time out on this video. Uh, but at least, uh, so I'll get a chance to show you what happens when I use these level one characters with all the loot I've accumulated using my level 18 Amazon. Okay, so uh, what I get? Probably not gonna need these. I probably just end up selling these. Wow, 17 boots. I'll probably end up appraising this. All right, so let me uh, sell one of these. So it costs money to appraise it, but I might end up being able to sell it for a slightly lower price. Like instead of selling it for 300 unappraised, I can sell an appraised item by spending 760 bucks to figure out what it's worth and then maybe selling it for $700 separately. So I don't know. I'll figure that out eventually. Uh, suspicious Axe, yeah. I think I spent about $800 trying to appraise this item, and I find out that it's worth 900 So I guess it was worth it in that sense. Uh, sometimes you get your money back when you appraise something, I suppose. I think it cost me 600 bucks. I'll check my recording, because my, my recording... I probably spent 150 gold to appraise it. Now I find out it's an axe I want to keep. But it's going to cost me $900 to sell it. So I'll probably use it for a while and then sell it. Because I think used items still get you some money. In fact, yeah, you can always sell used items. I don't know how much... I don't know how much the price drops if they're used. Like, if they're really worn down. Because I sold a bunch of items that were uh, worn down to 10% of their maximum durability. And I still got a few hundred gold for them. Okay, so... Let's go to Morgan. I didn't complete any quests, I don't think. Okay, but I'll, sh I'll show you a few other tricks I did. Okay, uh, repair equipment. Okay, I'll keep this, and then I'll be able to uh, leave a quest if it breaks, so I'm fine with that. I didn't get a chance to switch to these boots to figure out if I can switch boots. These are going to lose at some point, but like I said, they were fodder. So I don't mind these getting worn down because they're like, you know, they're like, uh, they're like a rag that you wear when you're about to clean up the house. <laughs> you don't mind if it gets dirty. And in this case, I don't mind if this armor gets ripped. Because I can't sell it. It's worth zero dollars. So, fair warning. Okay, everything else looks good. These I'm not even wearing. Actually, yeah, I'm not wearing these. So you aren't going to wear down at all. Okay, heal potions. Yeah, so I'm down to my maximum restock amount there. Okay, so I'm fine in terms of potions. So if I use one po, so I have a potion map to all three buttons. See, triangle, square, and circle. If I use, if I drink a potion, all those buttons are locked until my cooldown period for potion drinking ends. So in this case, I, it doesn't matter if I map them to different buttons. All this does is that it gives me more uses. Like I, I can use this potion four times in a dungeon. I can use this one three times, I can use this one four times, so that means I potentially can carry 11 potions with me into a dungeon. I had to use a couple against that Medusa, so that's fine. I'll pray some crap later. Uh, we'll leave. I haven't bought anything from this magic shop, by the way. But I have so much money, I can use it on my level one character. And my level one character bring that 53,000 gold to the magic shop. 57,000 now. Okay, so let me try a few things. Let me go to the Adventurer's Guild, see what's going on. Because I'm going to turn on one of my quests and turn off another one so I can make room for it. See, watch this. Look, I got a new quest. Got 99 problems, but a harpy ain't one. Uh, investigate ancient temple ruins and defeat the harpy. Well, that's easy. Let other... Oh, ho, ho! Set other price slots to join off. That's, that's cheeky. I think that what I need to do is say join off, then I have to turn all my ally slots off. Then I have to go to the stables and pay $500 to go into the ancient temple ruins. I guess that's the way I'm going to do it. There's more than one way to do this. But actually, this is a level... Ooh, wait a minute. 
That's right, yeah, I can't use this with a level one character, darn it. This is a Amazon quest. This is a level 18 quest. Okay, never mind. I'll find another way to do this. Uh, resurrect 30 bones. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. What if I want to turn this on? I can't. I, I'm out of, I have too many quests. I can't activate that many quests at once. Here's what I'll do. I'll turn off one of these other quests. I never found out what was behind the wall here. So I guess it's on the A branch, not the B branch. Or it's where if I kept fighting the Medusa after it escaped, maybe I could have continued the B branch quest to get to that wall painting. I don't know. When I go back, I'll, turn, I'll go down the A level path and see where it takes me. Because I don't remember where that thing is. So I turned off that quest. Okay, so let me turn on this quest. That's the resurrection quest. So before I run out of time, I'll head back to the Canaan Temple. You need the nine talismans to defeat the eight. Actually, before I do this, let me jump out. Because I wanted to show you this. I didn't bother to check and see how many people I've resurrected. Check requests. Search a resurrection. St quest status, two out of 30. Okay, so let's go in there and resurrect a couple of level one characters who are really cheap. Resurrect. Uh, I'm out of level one characters. Okay, fine, I'm about to run out of bones here, so I don't have to start burying people. But for the purposes of completing this quest, I will resurrect some people, some high level people who will be incredibly handy. Like uh, Faye Dunaway here. Faye Faye. Faye Valentine. Yeah, we'll call it uh, Faye Valentine. I wasn't death talking, was I? Yeah, you were talking in your sleep. Uh, Bret Hart. The fighter. I'm going to want these high-level characters anyway. I uh, got Mariah Carey. Let's see. Dying's bad for your skin. Sorceress. Uh, the Cato Institute. Let's see. Or Cato from Mortal Kombat, if you will. <laughs> Death be not proud. Uh, let's see. Jennifer Hale. Nolvin. Anyway. So, uh, I'm making room here. Let's get a uh, Melinda. Ooh, look at that. It's a uh, Queen Barrel from uh, Sailor Moon. She's an Amazon this time. So we'll grab her. She'll be fodder. I need something to eat. <laughs> I think you're fine on the body fat, lady. <laughs> I think you'll be just fine. Um, Melinda. I don't, have, I don't have a funny name for Melinda. I'll think of one later. Okay, so, uh... We'll use one of those later. Exit the temple. So I had two out of 30 resurrected bone piles last time. So let me check on something. Quest. See? Seven out of 30. So we can turn off this quest now. So let me go down to the Adventurer's Guild. And what I'll do here is turn off the search and resurrection quest because I'm going to do some more exploring. So I'm not going to resurrect anyone now. But I made some space in my bone pile, my cemetery, if you will, to, um, I mean, I guess I'm keeping all these people in separate bags or something. I don't know. Separate urns. Okay, I'll turn on uh, which other one? The Harpy quest. Actually, I'm going to, I'm not going to do that. Uh, actually, what else can I do? I wonder if I can turn on this quest. I doubt it. Because the level one quests are always, you know, they're locked until you become a higher level character. 